And you seem very, very stiff to me. This is how it strikes me. What do you think about that? You know, that's true. And um, I mean, you got to take what comes with the game, you know, the good and the bad. You, know, you got to embrace it all. You know, you just got to have fun with it. At the end of the day, you know, I'm still growing up. I'm still learning. And I'm having fun. So, you know, that's the main thing for me. Just the disappointment of last year, does that still stick in your mind at all? That was a pretty big disappointment out there in Des Moines. Yeah, well, I'm not really worried about that. Last year, you know, last year's over with. It's in the past, you know. We have a game tomorrow. We have a new team now. You know, we're going to see what we can do. What do you know about Northern Kentucky well, during the season? Did, did you watch them? Did you, were they any on your radar? No, I really just want to see players. That's no disrespect to them, those guys, but I just, you know, just haven't never crossed the team. And what do you think when we're overreacting, positive or negative? What goes through your mind when you see people, you know, they're that, that's what y'all do. Come a long way. Can't blame you guys. That's what y'all do. <laughs> that's your job. What do you, what do you, you bring leadership and a lot of grit. Uh, he does, you know, the little things that you know people don't see or that's not in the box score. You know, when he's playing with energy, you know, it makes everybody, it picks everybody else up. You know, his, his energy is contagious. Is there anything specific he did to help you get accustomed and feel more comfortable, like on campus or anything early on? Uh, yeah, I mean, he showed us where the spots were, where he'd be, where he eats at, stuff like that. Any place good to eat? Any good spots? Oh, uh, well, I like Malone's. He doesn't like it that much, but <laughs> that's just me. You guys are big, big overwhelming favorites tomorrow night. So how do you get excited? You know, um, I mean, you, if you're a competitor, you get excited for anything. Like, it doesn't matter if they say you're supposed to lose by 12 or win by 100. Is Brad, like, wishing they got win by 100 so he can get some playing time? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Brad right there, you can ask him. <laughs> How do you feel the guards have stepped it up later on? Y'all are now ready in 11-game winning streak. Uh, right now, we, we picked it up defensively, uh, just trying not to let teams get in the lane. Uh, you know, we count lane touches, and uh, we've been we've been getting in the lane about 20, 25 times more than the other team, and when we're doing that, it's hard to stop us. Was it the last game uh, of De'Aaron when uh, in the SEC tournament when Coach had to remind you guys to get it in the band? Um, in nah, it was the it was the Alabama game. and. Uh, then the next game, you know, we try to we try to feed him, force feed him. And, uh, I mean, he ste he stepped up when we give him the ball, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem for us. But sometimes it is. I've asked guard. you before. I'm just surprised that you don't get the ball into him. Uh, yeah, he's so just, good with it. Just as a guard, you know, when you're good off the bounce, you just it's something that you forget about. But uh, you know, in the tournament, we know we need him, so we know we have to give him the ball.